Moodling with Master Courses. This presentation is to give you an overview of how Moodle is supporting the PLC process. For the last couple of years, we have been working in the PLC Moodle, focusing on the what we want students to know, working in subject alike PLC meetings. We started with prioritizing the benchmarks. We used the criteria of endurance, leverage, readiness, teacher input, and the North Dakota State Assessment to prioritize those benchmarks into what students need to know, what benchmarks were important to know, and which ones were nice to know. So when you examine the targeted benchmarks wiki, the benchmarks are colored blue for need to know, yellow for important to know, and white for nice to know. The next step was to deconstruct the targeted benchmarks so when you click on a standard or benchmark identifier, you come to that specific standard or benchmark. <clears throat> These were identified as the targeted benchmarks. We deconstructed these benchmarks to KRSP. The student-friendly I can statements help students identify what they need to know and the reasoning and skills necessary to master these standards and benchmarks. These statements can also help teachers design common formative assessments focused on the standards and benchmarks. Now we are at a crossroads. How do we use what we have done to help students learn? This is where we need to put standards into practice. First we start by examining our targeted standards and benchmarks found in our PLC Moodle wikis. Standards would be boring if we taught them in isolation. Standards based is not matching standards and benchmarks to the existing curriculum. Instead, we have to develop curricular units or big ideas around these standards and benchmarks. These big ideas will become the foundation of our curriculum. That is where we start switching from working in large K-12 subject-alike PLCs hosted in the PLC Moodle to course-alike PLC teams which have a workspace in the student Moodle. These workspaces are called master courses. This is how you can put these prioritized standards into practice. Your big ideas will become the foundation that your course will be built by changing topic headings into big ideas. Big ideas are still too broad, so learning has to be chunked into focused learning based on I can statements. The PLC team will identify the essential question and learning targets that will address the big idea. What is curriculum without resources? Course PLC teams will be able to add resources that support these big ideas and essential questions. Moodle has various types of resources. A teacher can add files, links, folders, and web pages. A file can be a picture, a PDF, a spreadsheet, a Google presentation, a sound file, a video file, etc. Web links can send the student to any place they can reach on their web browser. Folders help teachers organize files and one folder may contain other folders. Pages allow the student to see a single scrollable screen that allow the teacher that the teacher creates with an HTML editor. Activities are how we get students engaged with the curriculum. Assignments enable teachers to grade and give comments on uploaded files and assignments created on and offline. There's even a turn it in assignment type which automatically links to turn it in. Databases enable participants to create, maintain, and search a bank of record entries. Forums allow participants to participate in an asynchronous discussion. Glossaries enable students to create and maintain a list of definitions like a dictionary. Lessons for delivering content in flexible ways. Quizzes, which allow the teacher to design and set quiz tests, which may be automatically marked uh, with feedback and give and correct answers shown. A wiki can contain a collection of web pages that anyone can add or edit. So student Moodle is how we put our standards into practice with big ideas supported with resources and activities. Plus, the quiz module has the potential for teachers to develop common formative assessment checkpoints 
aligned to the standards and benchmarks. Teachers and students will get immediate feedback on how they're doing, with teachers able to compare results with a simple click of a mouse. You can even look at what responses the student chose when making errors to help with analysis. So as you can see, we now have two Moodles, one for our K-12 subject PLC work for curriculum alignment, which is housed in the PLC Moodle, and which includes the deconstruction of the benchmarks, and the other for the how. That's the student Moodle to help develop and put our standards into practice.